Hi, this is Zach from All Level CrossFit. This is lesson 21, the Ford method, um, getting kind of uh, deeper connections with the athletes that we know through this acronym. The family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. I've chosen three athletes that I've had in class for the last few months and some connections that I've made with them and some um, a breakdown of the Ford method with each of them. The first one is Matt Campbell. He's an athlete that comes to the 9.30 or noon class. The first one, family. Um, I learned through talking with Matt that he has a son. His son has Down syndrome. We run an adaptive athlete program here. So we were able to kind of talk about that and see uh, ways to get his son in here, get his son active. Um, so that was a pretty neat connection that we made. Um, he works for the police. Uh, more specifically, he works for the OPP, which is Canada's kind of version of the Highway Patrol. So he has some pretty wild stories if you get him talking about it, which is which is fun to uh, connect on. He's a runner. He'd show up sweaty sometimes to the gym already. And I was like, did you do a workout before this? Were you in the gym doing accessory work? He would actually run from his house, uh, do a quick 5K to get here. So kind of um, talked about running uh, with Matt from there on in. Lastly, his dreams. Um, he goes down to Mexico to volunteer occasionally, and that's kind of what he wants to do um, as far as a, a passion of his, going out to Mexico, helping out communities, building communities, stuff like that, um, south of Texas, which is pretty neat. Um, the next athlete, JP, um, talked to JP about his family, and he has a brother, Chris. Uh, he actually ended up bringing him in to bring a friend day. Uh, his brother, Chris, uh, is an older brother, and yeah, it was kind of neat to uh, talk about Chris and then have it transform into Bring a Friend Day, which is a neat progression to have him come in. Um, he's an IT guy. Uh, he works on computers. Uh, he does uh, software. When things are like when things get hacked, they call him as a troubleshooting guy. So I realized that he's probably the guy to talk to when my uh, when my laptop doesn't load up properly. He'll probably know how to diagnose it pretty quickly. Um, he likes going to concerts. Uh, Metallica just played in Detroit, which is across the river from the city we live in. And um, he went to Metallica both nights and then kind of got us down a rabbit hole of talking about the different uh, hard rock concerts, heavy metal concerts that he's been to, kind of opened him up a little bit talking about that, which is pretty cool. And almost leading into that, his passion, he just bought a, a brand new Pearl drum set. Um, and he likes to bang away on that in his basement, but he's a little bit of an introverted person. so. Um, it was kind of cool to, to hear him about making a bunch of noise um, in, in his basement, smashing away on his drums. So that's definitely a passion of his, um, one of his dreams, playing a band, a heavy metal band. So pretty neat stuff uh, with JP. Natasha, um, one of the athletes, kind of a, a younger athlete, still going to, uni uh, going to university. Um, talked about her family. She has a twin sister um, who lives here in town and didn't realize that she's a... Uh, a server at Jose's, which is a restaurant a lot of the athletes and that we go to after we do a hard workout, kind of like a brunch spot, and just realized that her sister was our server one day, kind of made that connection with Natasha, kind of a, kind of a neat thing. Um, she works at a supermarket. She um, works in the deli section, and I'm always behind the counter with a, a rotisserie chicken as part of my diet, trying to get that high protein in. and. She, um, she has the inside scoop on how the rotisserie chickens are made and when they're made and the best ones to get. So we kind of connected on that. It was kind of a funny conversation, but kind of a neat one there to go with her occupation. Um, recreation uh, in university, she went to St. Clair College. She was a cross-country star. She went to um, provincials, which means she, she represented Ontario in cross-country. So long-distance running, which can be kind of... A lot different than the stuff we do in CrossFit, more the high high intensity interval stuff. So it was kind of cool to uh, dig deep on that and talk to her about that. And she wants to be a firefighter. She's taking night classes at the St. Clair College to um, to one day be a firefighter, studying for the firefighting test here, uh, the physical requirements too, some kind of like dialing her workouts towards that as well. Since I realized uh, one of her dreams is to be a firefighter. Um, so those are my three: Matt, JP, and Natasha. Uh, for the Ford method, breaking that down, making deeper connections with those athletes. Cool. Thanks so much.